For those who follow this channel know that I love a good railway, and from time to time inject the odd railway video into things, and most of you seem to enjoy them. So you join me today at Strines Railway Station, on the line between Sheffield and Manchester Piccadilly. There's no trains here today, but instead some interesting rail plant performing an even more interesting job. This pair of rail mounted excavators with their hoppers have been travelling up and down the deserted line, moving earth and other materials as part of a round the clock operation to stop 50,000 tonnes of earth slipping into the River Goit. Earlier this year, after some of the wettest months on record, cracks were detected in this railway embankment in the Hague Bar area of Derbyshire, along the line between New Mills Central and Manchester Piccadilly. In early 2024, initial ground investigations were carried out at the site of the ground movement, near to the tracks, and Network Rail quickly confirmed that immediate emergency work was required to repair the slope that supports the railway. This embankment is constructed on a natural hillside comprising of glacial till, overlaying mudstones and siltstones of the millstone grit group. At the bottom of the hill is the River Goit, a tributary of the River Mersey. The failure was understood to be a deep rotational failure within the glacial till and weathered bedrock. Basically the failed surface will begin to move outwards and downwards as conditions worsen. Water has been a key factor in the overall stability of this embankment and it was observed by the route engineering team to deteriorate following periods of extreme weather. As a result, remote condition monitoring was installed on the slope to allow its continued safe operation. In addition, the route engineering team used ground instrumentation, including inclinometers and piezometers, to understand the failure characteristics and rate of deterioration. Engineers started emergency repair works, but it was then decided to close one running line and impose a speed restriction on the other remaining section. A 20 miles per hour emergency speed restriction was introduced on the section of line, which was then reduced to just 5 miles per hour by network rail. Now it's closed for traffic completely, which has caused quite a lot of disruption. I suppose it's better than the line slipping into the river altogether though. One of the first parts of this mammoth project was to build an access route to the line and to the area of the landslip. The picnic area next to the line and the allotment has been turned into a temporary works compound while repairs go ahead, and every time I've driven through there's been a lot going on. There's also a new 0.2 of a mile dirt access road along the side of the embankment, which has had to be made to allow vehicles and workers to access the area of the landslip. Lots of engineers and equipment are working here flat out 24-7 to stabilise the embankment. If the work isn't carried out, there's a risk of 50,000 tonnes of earth falling from the railway into the adjacent River Goit, leaving the line closed for an even longer period of time. The team are drilling a 160 metre long run of pile foundations into the earth to create an underground retaining wall between the railway and the river to stop the movement of the ground. You can see the concrete being poured around the foundation walls here. Once this is complete they'll need to rebuild the railway on top of the stabilised embankment to allow trains to safely operate again. As you can see, one section of track the down main has been completely lifted, and the ballast moved out of the way too. The project is due to run for 7 weeks and we're already a few weeks in, and it's expected to last until autumn if all goes to plan. You can see the rail mounted excavators travelling along the line with material loaded on by ground based ones. There's a constant stream of lorries moving earth by road to and from the site too. Naturally these works have caused quite a lot of disruption, but it seems to be being handled pretty well. Manchester Piccadilly to Sheffield services are currently operating via Stockport, calling at all stations between Chinley and Dore and Totley. Manchester Piccadilly to New Mill Central services are operating using a single line between Marple and New Mill Central. Marple continues to be served by up to three trains per hour, two from Rose Hill and one from Marple and at peak times there are two trains an hour from Marple. 
On Sundays, rail replacement buses are in operation between Piccadilly and Chinley via Marple, and Sheffield trains divert via Stockport like they do on weekdays. So that's a look at the Hague Bar Rail Slip. If you enjoyed this, let me know and I'll provide an update in the future. For more rail related videos, I'll leave a link to a playlist in the description below.